I was taken to a realm of the dead. So that angel of death came, wanted me to go into the realm of the dead. So tell us about the different spiritual realms that exist in the entertainment industry. But the Lord showed, yeah. Um, I saw him under the waters. How did they sacrifice that person? The person who died is somebody very close to that person. Because Mm. that spirit animal couldn't get that person. Mm. And it killed. It was that person who was sacrificed who was very close to that person. Greetings, our faves, and welcome to yet another episode of I've Been Through the Most podcast right here on St. Twins TV. Welcome if you're watching on YouTube, welcome if you're listening on Spotify, and welcome if you're listening on Apple Podcast. So beautifully said, Millicent. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, please do the right thing and click on that button now. It's free absolutely free and you get to have all of this content that you can indulge on and enjoy today we've got pastor Michaela and let me warn you (laughs) now okay things are gonna change in your life and you are going to hear things that you've never heard on the show before welcome to the show thank you for having me thank Thank you you for being here I know you were traveling you are out of the country yes and um, you had to make it for the interview so thank you for that yeah thank you for that we appreciate it it. yeah briefly introduce yourself I know you're a woman of God um, and give us a background of who you are okay Um, I'm Pastor Makina Mabaso Um, I'm a Messiah prophet Um, I'm also an intercessor I've been called into spiritual warfare to unseat your principalities and powers. Basically, that is, you know, my primary calling as an intercessor. I'm a mother of two. Can I let me at the age of forty something? So. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Yeah, and one grandson. Um, yeah, I'm into full-time ministry. I do deliverance. That's what the Lord has called me into. Basically, that's, you know, um, who I am. And you're a missionary. I you am a missionary, yes. Travel, uh, I the travel. <laughs> yeah, the Lord has um, commissioned um, our ministry to mobilize and um, equip, you know, intercessors into strategic warfare, especially in, in Africa. So I've traveled to, you know, I spent three years in, in Ghana to be trained, you know, as a missionary to plant churches, to do evangelism. And also, I've been to other countries like Burkina Faso, uh, Mali, Guinea, Sierra Leone, Mm. um, Togo, you know, um, Zimbabwe. I recently went to Zimbabwe two months ago and also went to Malawi. Malawi is my second home, you know. Mm. Um, There's a lot of work that the Lord has, you know, assigned us to do, especially because we know that Malawi is the um, poorest country. So there's a mm-hmm. shift that the Lord wants us to do in the land because there is a prophecy that says that Malawi is going to be one of the, not that the richest, but it's in the next five years, you know, mm-hmm. the, 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 the nation is going to change. So basically that's what I do. I do um, um, a lot of assignment, kingdom assignments, you know, to 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 fulfill the scripture. It's like Isaiah chapter 2 verse 20. Uh, two, verse, Isaiah 2 verse 2, that yeah. uh, the mountain of the Lord shall be the chief among other hills, you know. Mm. So basically, yeah, that's 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 my ministry, and that's who I am. And I have to say, this these are not like holiday trips, guys. <laughs> Missionary <laughs> yeah, it sounds work. fancy, but um, it's a lot. Mm, you know, lot um, you know, off air she was just showing us the work that they do, you know, in videos and everything, and I was like, yeah, this is a lot of work. Um, take us through your story, um, so that the viewers can understand, understand why you're here yeah. today. I can share something that happened recently, you yes. know, with what we what we were what we saw. I can I don't know if we heard about the full moon and the super moon and you know. Yeah. Hmm. It was yeah, all over recently the Yeah, recently we had the, the it's actually the blue moon. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I think that's why they call it the blue moon because it doesn't it happen all the, the time. Moon. It happens in the blue moon. Mm. I'm not sure exactly of of the f- effects about it but it's once in a couple, couple of years, of years. Mm. yeah mm. so what happened to you personally mm-hmm. during that shift and why uh-huh. um now i was not aware that there is a super moon or a blue moon you know that's going to appear 
in the sky because I was busy doing my minding my own business you know trying to um, finalize the book launch and all of that so um, God has blessed us with the prayer mountain so it's a place where we meet as intercessors and pray you know um, in that I was um, praying alone and um, I don't know but I felt that there was heaviness in me you know at that time but I could sense that something is happening in the spiritual realm and uh, in that I wanted to go outside but I find myself being locked you know inside the house imagine I had the keys of mm. opening up you know the gates and you know I couldn't mm. come out I could not understand how come I was locked up inside the house you know then I and there was no one because we there's Kunalidi Masimbabans who come like who are working who are doing um, growing the crops so at that time I was alone and there was no one you know at, at, at the farm so um as I was praying and sensing Gorman, why the door is not opening, then I went and looked outside, like, you know, go windowing. Then I saw a moon. Like, I could not believe how a moon can be so close to me, like, very close, mm. you know. So, in that, I was, you know, um, I was surprised, but also I could sense how something is happening, you know. But in that, um, I sense the spirit of heaviness because I couldn't pray anymore. I'm a prayer warrior. Like I could not pray. I couldn't even think of starting like Kilabana, you've got prayer points like it's mm. like there in your heart, like in your, you know. I couldn't think of any, you know. So I started um feeling hopeless. I started feeling alone, feeling horror. No one takes uh, uh, loves me. I always go out for people case of deliverance and do all you know. I felt so alone and, and that mm. spirit of hopelessness. So I just stayed there for two days. There's, there was no one. Thankfully, because I get when you pray, I was fasting, but there's yeah, break at six, so I would have something to eat, to nibble, you know, so there was something mm. there. But in that for the in in that two days, you know, um I started seeing things in the spirit that are, are happening because I two weeks prior I was delivering the Hindus. Like the Lord now is taking us to to deliverance, you know, with with the Hindi people. In their manifestation, a lot of manifestation you would find for the the creatures, kitty creatures, which um, have horns and you know uh, unicorns and stuff. So basically, in my ministry, let me just also share the the type of ministry that the Lord has given. Uh, as a seer, you know, the Lord conveys me into into different spiritual realms where I meet or where I see um, creatures, creatures like, you know, um, spirit, uh, spiritual snakes. You see um, um, uh, creatures in the spirit. Or we deliver somebody, you know, a whole manifestation where spirit will literally speak, you know. So I think after that ministration mm -hmm. where the Lord, I was delivering the Hindus, I got attacked because in that, as I was um, inside Goku at, at the farm, I then saw Indians. Like I saw an Indian priest coming and they were doing incantation and doing Batsela and all of that. But I couldn't pray. I was, you know, um, the next day it was the same thing. Fortunately, um, the next day somebody came and, you know. But what um, surprised me is that the moon was so close, you know, and I did not have... Next was the research about the moon. But mm. I knew what a moon can do because most um, Sokaras, like in the occultic uh, kingdom, mm. they know um, the power of using the heavenly elements. They know uh, the source of power is the moon and the sun and the stars. Mm -hmm. Even the, the diviners, you know, the Zangomas. There are Zangomas like, who use the um, a sun as a source of energy others they use the moon as a source of energy so that's where they draw power so mm. i i i then realized after hore um the enemy did it on purpose because they knew hore it's a rare situation where two moons coming together in a week so they had it was more like the enemy wanted to kill me you know because after that it's like i couldn't think of i could see hore kaipona na but i couldn't think of like Kilaba, you want to do something but you don't know how to do it mm -hmm. like I literally lost my mind you know mm. I feel like I lo not feel like I lost my mind like, I didn't have a sense of thinking like my thinking patterns were fragmented you know 
So, um, and I had other assignments that I planned I was supposed to go, uh, I was meant to go to Botswana and there's a launch. I was like, God, how am I going to do this? You know, mm. when um, my mind is, 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 um, fragmented. So this is what I actually went through. The enemy, I believe the enemy, you know, um, is not happy with, with, with the book. Uh, the enemy is not happy with... Okay, so yeah. let's put it this way. So you wrote a book, yes. right? So let's about the name of the book. What is in the book? What did you write about in your book? Okay. What is happening in your life? Okay. The name of the book is Amad Luzi, the Beast, Ange- uh, the Beast Agenda. Mm. Um, the Beast Agenda, it speaks about the trinity of Satan. As we know, um, according to the book of First John chapter 5, verse 6, 8, it speaks about the trinity... Uh, the three witnesses that bear record in heaven, which is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And we know there's also witnesses here on earth, according to a very same scripture that speaks about the Trinity here on earth, which is the Holy Spirit, the waters, and the blood of Jesus. But also there is a Trinity of Satan, according to the book of Revelation chapter 13, Mm -hmm. which is the dragon. Mm -hmm. There's a constellation. Is you it know? A, a dragon or a snake or what? Um, when you read the book of Revelation, because um, when I explain, now I explain in line with the scriptures. That's what the Lord mm. Jesus has said. I shouldn't um, to get ye philosophies or ideas of other religions because I'm a Christian. Mm, mm. I have to make sure her is in line with the word of God. Yeah. You know, Because the Bible says in the book of Revelation 13, it says the red dragon was cast out here in heaven. So it's a great, there's another scripture that speaks about the great dragon. So it's mm-hmm. a red dragon or the great dragon. Mm-hmm. That serpent, the coiling serpent that was cast out from heaven. When you read Genesis chapter 1, it speaks about the, um, the snake. You know, mm-hmm. but it was not a, a dragon; it was a snake was with a snake. the e. Okay. You know, but it's it, these are reptilians. These are reptilians. You know, um, that are somehow um, not not somehow, but is there when you read the book of Job chapter five, Job chapter forty one, you will realize mm-hmm. Jorge, this scripture speaks about Leviathan. I'm sure you heard with lots of your interviews when they confess, especially in the kingdom of darkness, they speak about Leviathan who who lives under the waters. Mm. Even Ezekiel 28 um, confirms that, that there is a serpent that lives under the waters, mm. meaning there are cities under the water. So there have is you a been world. underwater? I've seen, before I got born again, I was t- like, um, my grandmother was a Sangoma. Mm-hmm. I've, I was spiritually, like see things, snakes, and you know, and at, the, at that time I did not understand you know, or why am I seeing these things? But later, when I got born again, I got born again 15, uh, 16 years ago, um, then I understood um, why God called me into this um, assignment. Not assignment, the, like... My, the, gift. Then, the gift. The mm-hmm. gift, you know. Mm-hmm. I remember when I was taken, uh, but this one, I was taken to a realm of the dead. Mm. Sibiza guti amatonga in the in the in the izangoma babiza guti amatonga in the realm of the dead where Jesus Christ went. Remember Jesus Christ went mm. and spoiled the party pieces and took the keys under the earth. But it says that Jesus Christ he ministered to to the spirits. Yeah. He ministered to the spirits. So there's a realm of the dead. I remember where I was taken. I know what there's there is controversy of our worker ancestors, you mm. know, in the realm. You know, it's it's a bit control. But we need to read scriptures and understand. Jorge, yeah. Why is did why did this uh, diviner manage to invoke the spirits at all? We also need to, to understand, mm. you know, and, and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal Jorge, why these Angomas they go they go to the graves and and invoke spirits and the spirits manifest as you know as familiar spirit like yeah you know mm. so um i remember i was taken i was newly born again at that time and i saw a very tall man and but you know when 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 the spirit of death or the angel of death comes mm. as a tall man at that time i can so much i did not understand but you mm. know and i was newly born again although i had Next, I understand the Bible, you know, I did not know scriptures and all of mm-hmm. that. But I knew that, you know, um, Jesus is there, he's going to protect me. Because that spirit came and um, the spirit wanted to, because I had issues of something that comes wanting to take my soul away from me. 
So I used to fight mm. that I could not understand why. It was more like a nightmare, you know, like a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Or a nightmare. So in that, I remember I saw a world that opens like an eye. I saw gold skin. I could hear drums that is angoma. But I couldn't go inside like fully, but I could go in and see. So that angel of death came, wanted me to go into the realm of the dead. Mm. You know? And that's where I started seeing her. Oh, okay. This is the realm where most diviners, you know, the Zangomas go to. To access access power. Okay. By the realm of the You know, as Christians, we need to understand what these people, they understand spirituality. And at times, as, as, as believers, we like to... Um, we need to understand when, when the Bible speaks of ancestors, we are not allowed to worship ancestors. Even mm. God himself says we should not worship other gods. Mm. That does not mean well, there are no gods. Mm. Gods mm. are there, but we should not worship other gods because he's a jealous God. Mm. But it does not mean well, there are no other gods. There are gods, you mm. know. So um, spiritually, like in terms of spirituality, they know there are different realms, there are different gods in different realms. And the spirit, you know. So what happens in that world of the dead? The world of the dead, um, okay, I'm just, cause when God takes me into different realms, I go for an assignment at that time. Okay, I'll just share one of the, 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 the experience that I had. I think it was two years ago when there was a growing of um, manifestation in schools. Bana, you know, when they were manifesting Baskrima and all of that. I remember when the Lord uh, took me to a realm. In that realm, I saw the elders. I saw elders, but I saw in that elders, in early elders, the elders of, of in, that, in that realm, mm-hmm. you know, elders of um, of the dark world. Mm. You could, in, in that, but what thing, you know, those elders, you see them, mutanale literally one, mm. you know. And I saw believers. I saw believers. They were seated like this. They were chained. They were chained. Um, but they could move their body, but their upper body was like chained. Mm. And the Lord was saying to me, um, the Lord was saying that most people, um, especially the believers, they compromise a lot. Uh, to Lord, there's um, mm. you know, they consult the dead and, and they, they would go and and be among them, mm. you know. So the Lord was just showing me, and Jay, I went into the realm and I saw a lot of pastors that I know that I affiliate with, you know. And the Lord was just showing me, for it, it will take somebody who's mm. not in that. Because the other leg is on this, the other leg is not. Have yeah. a miracle? Why? Oh, Lord! Ah, get la, get la, get la. I'm comforti ebekiri in the name of Jesus. Again, you know how believers mm-hmm. are. I will go and I will pray over the food and I will eat the food, not knowing how you have entered their region. Mm. It's their space, mm. and we compromise mm. and go and and, mm. and fellowship with them, and in the spiritual realm they will then capture you. Yes, as a believer you can't move because this. Um, Below you, hey, it's, it's. I don't know how can I explain yeah. it, but you re, you realize, especially about like compromising their life, they're not moving in the spirit. Yes. So, so that's that's the one realm. You've been to other realms. Okay. You've been in like holy realms. So tell us mm. about the different spiritual realms that exist. Um, and you you describe it as a world actually. Yeah. Like different worlds. It's so different we are here worlds. on earth, right? Mm. And we operating in a in a place in a space that we can understand. But mm. outside of you being in the perimeters of of the earth, there are other worlds that exist with people and operations and principalities and spirits. Right, so you were telling us about that. Um, can you take us through? I want us to also, also speak about the realm of the um, the under the other the, the, the sea. Mm. Okay, so the underworld. The underworld. Mm-hmm. The underworld means the secret walls. But I want to speak about the one with mermaids and stuff. The water, that is, the which waters. is the most I think commonly spoken about one that a lot of people talk about. But this one I want to speak about the entertainment gate, the entertainment industry. But the Lord really? showed, yeah. 
I'm not going to mention names. <laughs> okay. Yo, I'm not going to mention names. Mm. It was in 2020, you know, yeah. um, when the Lord took me. Um, okay, the first one, it was in, um, oh, it happened in March. The first one in 2020, mm -hmm. when I saw one of the politicians, a high-ranking politician, you know, um, I saw him under the waters. And that it was a world of the memes, memes and sirens. Memes, uh, half women, you know, sirens, half men and half fish, you know. Mm -hmm. So I was taken into that realm. As I was in that realm, Haki feature, you know, they could easily identify you if you belong into the kingdom. Because I heard them saying, here's a shiny one. So they're able to see you on the forehead. When you read the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, verse 4, the Bible says that um, he marks us, I get, mm. with the seal of the Holy Spirit, I get. And mostly if you're an intersector, there's a marking according to Ezekiel 9, 4. So when I went there under the waters, the Lord showed me, um, that was that was, that was was the Corona, corona Haikal. It was mm -hmm. like there was a secret meeting under the sea. So the elite were coming for were coming for a conference of some type, some type of a meeting that um, was happening under the mm -hmm. the, the, the waters. Yeah. So then I then saw that one of our our our, our heads of states under you know the waters. So meaning there are cities under the waters where the our some of our politicians they draw powers from the mm -hmm. mermaid spirits. They go into realms to gain power. Remember, um, the mermaids, they, they, these are deities that, that influences businesses. These are deities that, these are uh, money, like they give money, they give wealth, give, mm. yeah, you know, these are mm. wealth. We call them Abu Mam Lambo, right? Mm. They give they, money, wealth, fame, all yes, of that. they give that. These are the Mam Lambo. You'd see a person who have a snake as yellow and white. It's a mammoth spirit. Although it's a snake, it's a mammoth spirit. Do they go, do they volunteer to be a part of that? Is that their choice? So an ordinary person, just like a cult, they go and I wouldn't call In it sign up. For power but yeah, I wouldn't say sign up, but they, they join. Is that something that you join? Okay. Um, a, 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 at times you are born in, in it. Let me make an example, but especially with, with if you are in the royal bloodline. Eh? When you read the book of Revelation chapter 6, it speaks speak about this about the second beast, which is the spirit of the leopard, the spirit of the lion in the bay. Mm -hmm. How leopard? Print, yeah, print on the cloth, yeah. Or a lion print. That is a beast, the second beast, the second trinity of Satan that comes from the waters. Yeah? Maybe it's the Amakosi spirit. Amakosi spirit is the royal spirits, those who are born into royalty of the heavy bloodline or under the lineage, Yabu Khos. You'd realize, give to some, some are mayors, some are our president politicians, you know, who comes from a lineage. Mm -hmm. They might not be kings, but they have a, a royal blood. Mm -hmm. So those, most of the time, um, uh, 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 they, they are not scared by initiative because of the bloodline. Okay. They, don't, they didn't go there voluntarily. So they're not aware or are they aware? Um, I don't bow down, you know. But you don't understand the, 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 the power that it is invested upon them. And most what but what thing was successful because I get it, it's a covenant that was made, you know, uh, mm. many years. But as a halang, no, people go and make pets with these water deities, Bumam Lambo and Inkanyam, to actually gain affluence, influence, and also to be famous to gain, you know, um, you know, because mm. these are um, wealth giving uh, 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 water spirits. So, uh, what I then saw when I saw this um, politician, um, there was a conference, like I did mention. Um, I think in my spirit, what I, although there was no voice, but I could sense while there was a meeting, not only in South Africa, other heads of states came to discuss. I don't know if it was about COVID, but there was something that related to that. Mm -hmm. 
and they met they met under the under waters. the waters so is that where you saw some artists? Okay, or with you the saw people in the entertainment industry. And in the entertainment industry, it happened in August. The Lord took me to see one of the. I'm not going to mention whether it's a female yeah. or not. Mm. That person was complaining because the money is not flowing. That person had her upper boat. Oh, Kerry, her upper boat. Lord have mercy on me. <laughs> <laughs> was yeah. a fish. And the I lower body, lower body, yes. not okay. the upper sorry, the lower yeah. body. Yes, you yeah. know, I was like, okay, that's not my only one. There was, mm-hmm. I, I believe that person was the partner because like I'm Google, I also do my own research, research. as mm-hmm. well after I've seen things, you know. Yeah. And the Lord was saying, uh, the reason I get now because of the corona, the money is not flowing. Mm-hmm. As the money is not flowing, um, a sacrifice must be made. Mm-hmm. It's either you kill a family member. Or at your workplace, as a film producer, mm. there must be few deaths. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. They live on the blood. That's how they f- they feed on the blood. So someone must. Someone must die. Okay. Is this still the water? It's the water kingdom? spirit. Mm. Oh, okay. It's the water kingdom underneath yeah. the earth. Mm. Because Bapila Kama Adegir, they live on the like they they want blood. They yeah. use human flesh. If you can. Okay, from your own t- uh, testimonies with people who came here, probably all of they use human flesh, they drink mm, the blood. And the blood, and yeah. And the blood, because there's life in the blood. So when they ask this person, who will sacrifice, and then? Um, it's evident because I Did don't know. someone s- die? Many people died in the entertainment industry. But a, a very influential person died. Yeah. Yeah. So they died because they sacrificed them. Some uh, the, someone that worked with them sacrificed. Okay. Or a family member almost sacrificed. Because I know the story. Because mm. yeah. I saw that person crying before mm. that person I'm praising at You mm. know, the spirit wanted blood. Rona, we prayed as intercessors for it. This animal we're not gonna get. I get as intercessors, God gives us gates, economic gates, entertainment mm. gates. I don't know you know about the seven mountains where the Lord use intercessors as gatekeepers, you know, to make sure for these animals, they don't kill people. So mm. we interceded. Or in the entertainment industry, mm. no one will die, especially into that Philip, in, into, into that group, into that um, in, uh, company. Mm. We prayed and none died. The person who died is somebody very close to that person because mm. that spirit animal couldn't get that person. And it killed. It was that person was sacrificed who was very close to that person mm. because they couldn't get so access to So even saw the person crying because they they knew what's happening. They couldn't get the blood. How, but I, how, I mean, how did they sacrifice that person? Do they die from anything? Um. Okay. The Lord has not showed me how they die. Mm. But based on research, I can also do my own research mm. as well. At the time, you'd find someone, oh, let me make an example about a certain, a, a, my experience. Mm. Um, this is what the Lord told me. There was a time where I did deliverance. It was in January. and um, But the Lord showed me a horse, in a, a snake tail, but I did not understand. And that time I was, you could tell the Holy Spirit wanted me to pray, but you know, at times we get tired of, you know, mm. you just want to leave and, and be a mother <laughs> to your children, you know. TV. I'm like, no, Lord, now I just want to relax. I'm, you know, I'm tired of praying. Can't you're the enemy? Plant something later in the in in in, in at night. Uh, late, you know, couple mm. eleven. Let me go and bath. And I've got dogs. But you will let the dogs suck. Okay, it's another. You know, hectic. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's hectic. So in that, um, I, I I went to, yeah, I went to the bathroom, 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 you know. When I went out, I saw, my was in Konjan, a huge bed like this, with a long tail, black one. In your own home? In my house. Inside the house? Inside the house. Inside, in Konjan. And at that time, next and next to the on Kanjani, I did not know what type what of it is, is, what it does, yeah. what it does. I've never been so traumatized like that. I went inside, and I see little 
Go bathroom. And one of the things that the witches do, ne? Bako batla uli naked. They scan you. So meaning, I have to run from the bathroom too. But before then, I had to pray because I was traumatized. Like I always tell the Lord, Lord, I don't want to see manifestation physically. Please, can I see only in the spirit? Because when it happens, it is traumatic. So yes. this happened physically. The extra Physic- bed was in yeah. your kids' room. Eleven, like past eleven at, at night. night. Yeah. So what did you do? I stayed me for fifteen minutes, carapel, like screaming, you know, and uh, inside the uh, bathroom. Then I quickly went, Kailunga um, towel. Then after Kilonga towel, then I I stayed because Kenya Hanaker next door of the other room, kids a prayer room. I've got a prayer room in the house where mm. I just spend my time, you know, with the Lord. Then I quickly went there and went to the prayer room. I prayed. Maybe I prayed for three hours. I can't get over the bed is still there, waiting like this. And your kids are sleeping. No, I was alone in the house with oh, the you're dogs. Alone. Okay, with the dogs. Yes. So so this bird is doing nothing. It's just standing. Ending like this for three hours. Like, you like a check after three hours. It's, I can, gone. it's still, still there. there. I called the intercessors. I asked them to help me pray, 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 pray. Until Yatamaya, then it left. Well, how it left, I don't know. Because what I did, just in case if it's not a spiritual bed. Oh, it's, it's, it's a Amai. <laughs> so the Lord told me, Hore, at times, most of this sudden death, like I was, I can't even go party. Actually, we're going to bury him. We're going to usher him. We're going to People don't know how a person dies. Sure, sure, sure. Ngonjane, it's an animal. This is a spirit. No ma- spiritual people, the zango must they know. When they go to the waters, ne, to meet the snakes or wild horses, a bird will come. It's a, it's a spirit. It's a snake. It will. It, they shape shift like They turn into birds and all of that. It so this shape, is shape. a bird that that. I wouldn't say kill people, but it fetches your spirit or something. Like for sudden death. Like you don't have to be ill of anything. That was the plan of the enemy. That's what the Lord showed me. So I I got a revelation as well. Jorge, most people, they die in their sleep. Something comes at night and, you know, and takes you like that. I believe for most of the sacrifices are done like that. They come again because these people they and turn into animals. You. Yeah, they turn into animals. I'm sure you saw a video as well where a dragon turn. You, I can I showed you yes. a video. Yes, they turn into which is they anything a, into anything. Yo, hectic, very hectic. How something can turn into different things like a snake, a bird, and a human being all at the same time, and they can transition from one place to another. I mean, we've had a lot of guests on the show who talk about these spiritual realms, you know, and Mm. it really sometimes feels unreal, but you've visited different realms and you also help Including heaven. Including heaven. You help people get into heaven (laughs) and to hell as well. Yes. To visit. I don't help. Remember, it's a, it's, it's a ministry. The Lord does the work. Okay, so do people come and say, I want to go and see heaven? The Lord oh, it's leads me, leads me to those okay. people. I, 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 like a certain person needs to visit this realm for a reason. No, but you visited heaven. Yes. How is heaven? Um, it's the way. Would you mind? I, I, I talk about their mansions. You know, mm. there are streets of gold. Um, um, there's a pearl gate. Like I see glimpse. I saw. I see mountains where there's so much juice. The glory of God. Mm-hmm. I've seen the um, oh a lot of things. You know, I've, angels. Okay, I, I see angels like often. You know? What do angels look like? Um, I ha- they are black angels. I I have a Facebook page where I share mm-hmm. as an intercessor, as a gatekeeper, or a watchman for this nation. Mm-hmm. I share things that are about to happen for the nations. For other intercessors to pray about. So the last, uh, I think I shared something three weeks ago about a black angel that I'm, nah, I was shocked for, you know, there's a black angel. Mm. The Lord and said the it, black angel is in heaven? Yes, I carry there. That's where they reside. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So this black angel is a continental angel. So there are mm. different types of angels. When you read the book of um, Ezekiel, mm. you know, the book of Revelation, you see all the um, uh, king living creatures. Mm. This is the... It's a seraphim, but it's an angel. Though these seraphim, little seraphims, it has four heads: um, mm. ox, man, camo. It has a head yeah. of egg, you know. So these are creatures, ne? And they are 
part of the angelic host, though. Yeah. When you read the book of Job chapter 41 and Job 40, mm-hmm. you realize, Jorge, um, when, especially in Job 40, I think Job 40, when the Lord said, Jorge, I have formed you as first in the ranking. So, Hagere, there are, <laughs> there are, there's these spiritual snakes ne? or spiritual uh, living creatures. These mm. are animals of God. Runa mm. Rimona living creatures as kitty angel fella with wings. No, no, no. Others are animal like. Like Leviathan. Mm. He was created like that. So it's not it's not angels how they describe them in some books. Like with wings, they they're are pretty wings. and cute, but they are wings. sometimes they are some scary. Those are if they. something has five, four mm. heads, for me that's scary. That's like in my mind, that's mm. not an angel, mm. but it is there's an angel. There's a seraphims, you know, Carabins. there's a cherubims, dominions, you know, different type of 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 of, of, of the angelic host. So you don't have any desires of going to heaven? Did you feel like you wanna go there and stay there? No, oh, I still have. I need to look after my children. I still have. And to get hell. Married. What What was your experience in hell? Did you see it? Did you? Um, I've never hell? been to hell, but the mm. people, when the Lord leads me, they've mm. they've encountered hell. I've, I've lived their experiences through them. You know, I record mm. most of um, of their experiences. Yeah, okay. they do see hell. Mm. I somebody last week had an encounter as well about hell. I think I'll show you after the the because I've got a video but mm. I'm not allowed to even show people you mm. know because these are confidential but yes. yeah, I, just for proof for a little evidence yes. you know um, yeah a person saw somebody in hell and all of that at times a lot mm. wants to communicate to that person mm. you know because that person was not a believer mm. you know I met that person here somewhere how can you help people what kind of people do you help and how can people you know get in contact with you okay. I'm a deliverance minister, like I did say earlier. Um, most people who are, who are coming, kiti zangoma, like diviners, mm. you know, leba uh, tibaruzing. Wait, so they come because they don't want to be there they want anymore. To be helped. anymore. They want to be helped. They want out. They want out. I'm and sure it's a long process. So you help all those people. Yes. Yo, and then people who are um, who are devil worshippers as well. You help them as well. Yes. So basically, any form of deliverance, you do it. I don't just do. I inquire of the Lord first. Okay. Mm. Other yes. but, traps. but you are available. Mm. I'm available because certain things are traps, you know, and mm. you need to also do your spiritual medicine. Yeah, you must be covered. Yeah, mm. you can't just do any, you know. But the Lord, when the Lord allows mm. for me to help you, you to say, you know. Um, I think that's why now it makes sense to me now why she she has access to all these realms, because if you're gonna help people who need deliverance and all that, you must understand where they were operating from, wherever they toilet or wherever they were consulting, these are all different realms and all these things that they toilet with, you know, what animals and what kingdom they are in. These mm. this is these are hectic things that and no one person will say yeah. this doesn't exist but it I can't imagine does. the attacks on you. I mean don't they come back and want to attack you? Obviously like I can't for can trying to destroy their they assignment. Do. They sure. do that's why I experience like the Inkonjane and the moon and st- you know it, it it does come back if hence I said Hore, you need um yo, this temple, you know, you need to make sure that you have a pure when you read Psalms twenty four verse three, you know, mm-hmm. the Bible says who can ascend into the hills, those who mm. have pure hearts and clean hands. So this type of have deliverance, you have needed that, you know, yeah. hands with idols. So you need to be a different type of vessel for you to actually do the work. Your heart must be pure. Your heart, you must have the heart of God for you to actually mm. do the work, you know. Um, and again, before I do that, especially before I conduct uh, sessions or the deliverance or minister deliverance, I first do the spiritual mapping. I must get your name first, go to all, like spiritually, mm. you know, and check yeah. who are you in the spirit. Because, uh, uh, so it, you can Google someone in the spirit, like what's scared, like zzz, <laughs> private <Yeah>. investigation. <laughs> yo, yo, but I yo, share food. on Facebook poop, wow. what God shows me. So it's something that I've been doing for the past four years now. So I, who are you on Facebook? Keep my killing my boss. Learn about skin. Go <laughs> <laughs> check your <laughs> where, where, can 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 people, where can people get a hold of you besides your Facebook page? Can you give us all those information before we close the show? 
Yeah, must I, I give you the number? Yeah. Yes. Okay, my number is 0697323255. Okay, we'll also put the number on the screen so that yes. you are able mm. to get in touch with her. What a full episode. Mm. So much <sighs> information. It's a lot. It's a lot. Like me would say, guys. Okay. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah. Like, I feel like we, like... I feel like there's so much that we spoke about mm. and then there's going to be a lot of questions. Like I know a when lot. we have an episode like this when there's a lot, there's always going to be a be lot warned. of questions. Be warned. You might come back for okay. a part two. Yes. Okay. Be warned. Yeah, because I feel like we didn't have enough time to get a beginning of something, a middle and an end of something. Mm -hmm. we're, we're just doing bits and pieces yes. because there's a lot. But we'll hear what you want to focus yeah. on, what you want to hear more about. So please do write to us as well, sentwins at gmail.com, um, as well as follow us on all social media platforms. Thank you so much for watching. We love you. We appreciate you. Do subscribe, do share, and do meet us in the streets of the comments below. Oh, yeah. Jeez. From myself, Millicent. <laughs> and myself, Innocent. And our awesome guests. And of Thank course, you. you for watching. It is bye for now. Yeah.